All right, so we have eight knobs here. If you look in Arturia Pigments, I mean, there's probably hundreds of different things that you can assign to a MIDI controller. So eight knobs isn't necessarily gonna cut it if you really like to go through and mess around with things. So brand new in Studio One 5.2 is the ability to have eight different pages of encoders. So this means that instead of having eight that you see here, you can page over and virtually have eight different pages of, of encoders. That's eight times eight. That's quick maths. You can do the math. Yeah, I'm tired. It's late at night. So um, let me show you how to do this. So first up, definitely want to make sure that Atom SQ is highlighted yellow here in the upper right hand corner to make sure it's in focus. And then to the left of that, we have a little gear. So if I open that up, this is going to take us to where we can map things out. So for this, you'll see Atom SQ here. If it's not, do the drop down menu. You have it here. If I click on it, that's going to open up the external devices editor, basically where you're going to make your uh, or see your different mappings that are currently set up on the controller. Um, you'll see that we have pages here, one through eight, and we also have this nice thing called autofill. So if you're familiar with Fader Port 8 or Fader Port 16, now, once again, in version 5.2 or later, we have the ability to click autofill, and if you don't want to go through and manually assign anything, you just hit it, and bam, now we have all our assignments ready to go. Also notice we have one through 99. I told you there was a lot of things to go through and map. Uh, of course, we can go through and mouse through these things. Uh, we can go all the way back to 99 if you want to, but it makes more sense to have control of these directly from the Atom SQ. Now, we're not going to have all 99 pages mapped out. However, we can have the first eight quick access ones, uh, quick access ones ready to go. So if I hold on user, you'll see that the letter A is currently lit up. That means that I'm in page one of the encoders. I go to B, now I'm in page two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, or I can quickly jump uh, to any one of these. So um, this is awesome because now I can just basically have different pages set up depending on what my needs are. Maybe one page will be all my envelope controls and another page will be my filter section. Um, I have autofill on right now so I can play with this. This means I can start messing with my macros. Let's see here, we can do this one. Add some repeats to the ends, I think. All right. Maybe add some effects. Do some crazy things with the touch strip. So this gives you a lot more control over your plugins. So uh, again, new in Studio One 5.2, we can have uh, multi-page support. Um, and we also have autofill support too. So if you don't want to map them manually, you can go through and just hit autofill and bam, you're good to go. All right, gets downloading that 5.2 update. There's a lot of stuff in there.